video, I took off on my motorcycle and I went on a little camping and hiking adventure. Stick around to see how it all went down. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I am Jess and this is where I share my adventures with you with an emphasis on mental and emotional wellness as well as the technical aspects of the adventure lifestyle. Now if you find any value in this sort of content, please like, subscribe, comment and share. By doing so, you help the growth of this channel tremendously. I desperately needed some time away in order to enjoy some peace and tranquility in the cool mountain air. So before the temperatures here in the desert reached 105 degrees, I loaded up my motorcycle and I headed out of town. I traveled up the twisty roads into the San Bernardino Mountains. It's been a while since I took a motorcycle trip. With the COVID situation here in California, a lot of my travel plans, and I'm sure yours too, depending on where you live, had to be changed or canceled. So I was really looking forward to getting up in the mountains for a few nights. I took Highway 18 through Lucerne Valley up into the mountains towards Big Bear Lake. Now Big Bear Lake is a pretty popular mountain getaway for people all over the Southern California region and sometimes it gets really crowded due to being just two to three hours away from Los Angeles and San Diego. I made my way toward the campground where I was staying and I knew ahead of time that it was going to be a really bumpy dirt road and I decided I should lower my air pressure a little bit to increase the traction on my motorcycle. This bumpy road certainly did test my suspension but I had no issues getting there. All right everybody. We are off on our adventure. First time I've been up here on the motorcycle, so it should be fun. So I lowered the pressure a little bit, give me a little bit more traction. at camp and I set everything up right away. I really just wanted to get out and do some exploring of the area on foot. This is my new Thermarest Neo Air x -Lite. There, now we're glamping.
Well, I got all settled into my camp and decided to do one of my favorite things, which is explore trails in beautiful places. It is just gorgeous out here. So I'm in my happy place, which of course is in the mountains. So I'm up in the San Bernardino Mountains near Big Bear, California. Check out the landscape. I tell you, it is a lot cooler up here than it is in the desert where I live. One of the major reasons why I wanted to come up here for a couple days, do some camping, and spend some time in nature. It used to be the only time I would come up here was for mountain bike racing years ago but it's kind of cool to be up here for another reason I wish that I had done more of it in the past after doing a little bit of recon on the trail system I realized that the food I had brought for dinner was no longer cold and unfortunately I had to throw it out um, I still had food but it wasn't the most exciting thing to eat unless you really like tuna on tortillas. I did retire to bed pretty early that night and rose early the next morning. After having some wonderful coffee and some breakfast, I was headed out to do some hiking. So I had packed my drone with me and apparently this whole area is a no drone zone. I didn't really have a firm plan on how long I was going to hike, but I figured it would probably be smart to pack two liters of water and some snacks before I headed out. Sometimes it's easier though to keep walking forward without thinking about the distance you have to walk back when you turn around. Now I saw the trailhead for Gray's Peak and I knew I'd be really disappointed in myself if I didn't hike to the top. It was a really beautiful and well-maintained trail and I noticed that it was very popular with hikers and mountain bikers alike. I feel pretty accomplished today. Unplanned accomplishment. Upon reaching the top of Gray's Peak, I enjoyed the view for a few minutes, and then I started my descent down the mountain. At this point, I really wished I had brought another liter of water because I was a few miles out from my camp and I had run out of water and I was very thirsty. Total, I hiked about 13 miles and it took me over six hours. The next day, unfortunately, it was time for me to head back to the desert. My time in the mountains had come to an end just too quickly. And I was also in a rush to beat the extreme heat. So I skipped my coffee and my oatmeal, and I packed up my motorcycle, and I headed out. On the way out, I stopped to air up my tires, and this really kind gentleman wanted to help me out. I kept insisting that I knew how to do it, and I wasn't having any troubles, but he didn't want to leave in case I needed his help. Again, I reassured him that I was fine and I could handle it myself. Maybe he thought that I was having a mechanical problem or something, I don't know. If you're still here, thank you for watching. And once again, if you did like this video, give it a like and consider subscribing. And if you have any comments, feel free to put them in the section below. And until the next time, I will see you in the next video. I'm not
Thank you.